Democracies continue to die around the world, only now by different means, not by the military, but by elected governments themselves. People continue to vote. Elected autocrats maintain the appearance of democracy while eviscerating its substance. Many government efforts to subvert democracy are legal insofar as they are approved by the legislature or accepted by the courts. A number of political outsiders have come to power by the same route from within through elections or through alliances with powerful political figures. In the U.S., Trump is the outsider. His campaign rhetoric is nothing more than words. The first sign is the lack of commitment to the democratic rules of the game. Trump has tested positive as anti-democratic by questioning the legitimacy of the electoral process. He denies the legitimacy of his opponents and describes them as subversive, unpatriotic, and a threat to national security or the existing way of life. He advocates limiting the civil liberties of rivals and rights. A demagogue's initial rise to power tends to polarize society, creating a climate of panic, hostility, and mutual distrust. All politicians are frustrated by these limitations, but Democrats know they have to accept them. They are able to withstand a constant barrage of criticism. All authoritarians have justified their consolidation of power by labeling their opponents as an existential threat.